So for example, question 8a. 8a, we are given the wall of a refrigerator made of a pieces of metal and a layer of insulator as shown in this figure. Lah. Okay, I will sketch the figure. So we need to sketch a graph to show the temperature change across the wall of the refrigerator. Explain the shape of your graph. So we assume maybe outside of the wall of the inf uh, refrigerator, we have high temperature. And inner side of the wall of the refrigerator, we have low temperature. So our heat will conduct or flow from high temperature towards the low temperature. I repeat, the heat will flow from high temperature towards the low temperature. So we need to sketch graph temperature change across the wall of the refrigerator. So this is the wall of the refrigerators. So I represent the x axis as distance. The temperature is our y axis. So we have temperature against distance graph. Okay. So we assume that the there will be no loss of heat to the surrounding, so the rate of heat flow will be uniform, constant. But then, the value of K, the thermal conductivity for insulator, is different from the thermal conductivity for metal. Okay, so value of K for metal and insulator is different. So normally, the value of K for insulator is much more smaller than the K for metal. So thermal conductivity for metal is greater. So from the concept we have, from the equation we have, rate of heat flow dQ over dP is negative Ka dP over dx. Okay, so we rearrange. So K will be negative rate of heat flow over A dP over x. So Normally, the rate of heat flow and the A is constant, the area is constant, and the rate of heat flow is constant. So, we can find out that the K is inversely proportional to the temperature gradient. Okay, uh, kalau you recall balik, dt over x, dx is the temperature gradient. So, nilai K adalah inversely proportional to the temperature gradient. Ini bermaksud, kalau nilai K kita adalah kecil, then our temperature gradient will be greater. So, kalau saya plot graph temperature against distance, kalau nilai K kecil, small K, nilai K kecil, saya tertarikkan, we have small k. If the value of thermal conductivity is small, we will find out that our temperature gradient will be greater. Maksudnya, the temperature gradient, gradient yang kita dapat tu adalah steeper lah. Dia akan jadi besar macam ni. It will become steeper. Okay. But then, if we have a value, k value which is very large, kalau nilai k sangat besar, kalau nilai k kita besar, Yang kita dapati temperature gradient kita akan jadi ke kecil. Ini maksudnya kalau kita plot graph temperature against distance, kita akan dapat satu gradient yang lebih landai macam ni lah. Dan uh, gradient new akan jadi lebih kecil. So we have a swallow gradient. Uh, nilai gradient kita lebih ke kecil. Okay, so berdasarkan prinsip ni, kita akan lukiskan graph kita lah. So, we are going to sketch our graph. So, because insulator, because insulator have smaller value of K, it means that the temperature gradient that we draw for insulator will be greater lah, will be steeper. So, I will get this type of graph lah. Bila kita sketchkan graph kita. Bila ke sini. Okay. So, bila kita sketchkan graph, temperature against distance, temperature against distance, kita kecikkan supaya nampak the whole. Okay, so if I sketch temperature against distance, so untuk bahagian metal ni, untuk bahagian metal ni, 
Untuk bahagian metal ni kita dapati you punya temperature gradient tu adalah kecil lah. Ha, bahagian metal sebelah sini pun sama. Temperature gradient kita tu adalah kecil sahaja. Kenapa? Sebab nilai K untuk metal lebih besar. So, temperature gradient dia lebih ke kecil. Ha, okay. For large value of K, we have swallow gradient. Ha, gradient dia lebih kecil. Okay. Then, untuk bahagian insulator, untuk bahagian insulator ni, for bahagian insulator, because the value of K for insulator is small, the value of K for insulator is small, so our temperature gradient will be larger lah, it will be steeper. So, bahagian ni akan jadi lebih curam ha, untuk bahagian insulator. Okay, so this is the temperature or gas distance graph lah that we can sketch for across the wall of the refrigerator. And this is our explanation. No? Ah. So from the from the equation of the thermal conductivity, we find out that the thermal conductivity K is inversely proportional to temperature gradient. So insulator have smaller value of K. So the temperature gradient for insulator will be steeper or greater. Okay. Then we have answer question. 8A. So, question 8A is similar, sorry, question 8A is similar to question 9. So, you can try to answer question 9 on your own, alright? So, answer question 9 on your own because it's similar. 